गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन ध्रुव में सॉरी डिलाइन गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन ओके मच बेटर सो वी आर हियर ऑल टू टॉक अबाउट टेक्नोलॉजी बट आई वुड डायरेक्टली डाइव इन विद एलिफेंट ऑफ द रूम वेल वी ऑल नो दिस इज वेर वी आर वी स्टार्ट एट सेवनटीन पॉइंट नाइन इन टू थाउजेंड टेन एंड वी आर एट टू पॉइंट फोर फोर टू डे दैट्स लाइक एन एटी फाइव परसेंट ड्रॉप इन प्राइसिंग ओवर सेवन ईयर्स and i i hear a lot of questions a lot of people come to me and ask is this sustainable will this last how has this happened and it's surprising but i hear the same theme again and again and you know what i hear is module pricing that is all that has led us to come from 17.9 to a 2.44 today and you know i really want to question this my fellow panelists all extreme speakers you are i see people from all over the industry do you, do you all of us really believe it's just modules which has got us here because we at solar rise we clearly do not think that's the only reason that is one of the biggest reason yes that is one of the biggest component here in but that's not the only reason technology is one of the biggest part of this in here and and given we're in a technology conference here i would like to spend a lot of time just to spend and talk about this whether you're using fixed design are you using tracker design what is your ac dc ratio how have you designed the plant what kind of losses are you considering how is your foundations length what is the tilt of your plant this thing you know there are so many different factors that go into designing a plant EPC has developed and matured a lot over these years. I would, you know, I would say my first plant that I built in 2010 was almost like a Taj Mahal. You know, the the control rooms were fully air conditioned, built up. Visibly now, I built a plant where the inverters are just sitting out in a shed. So things have changed a lot, and it's just not modular pricing. There are a lot of different factors that have all come together and help this sector change and reach where it is. you know we all look at one thing we say oh, it's it's debt cost which has come out interest rate does play a role but again along with interest you have other factors like the leverage what kind of a sculpting profile do you have when are you putting in the money and when are you starting to get returns all of those factors play a critical part um i heard a lot of us talk about you know off take guarantees uh, whether you're actually paid on time makes a factor on when the returns will get accounted for and obviously the scales and the sizes are changing a 10 megawatt plant vis-a-vis a 100 megawatt plant has a lot of difference in the economies of scale having said that when you go from a 100 megawatt to a gigawatt will the economies of scale be the same is questionable because you will built in like multiple teams to do the same work as you go from 100 onwards so like i said i have just touched the tip of the iceberg this is just one of the few factors in there who bring who have helped us bring to this level today i would like to focus today more on technology because we are here in this forum and and just recap and say i am not taking any position here on what should be the right pricing of modules i see uh, players of all like i like i just heard tier 1 players or tier 2 players sitting in the room who can help us better on what's the right module price i see technologists i see players from arctech i see scorpius here who can help us better on what's the right pricing on a tracker i see a lot of epc players who can say what's the right price to fix that's not the perspective of what i'm trying to show here i'm going to dump a lot of numbers and i'm expecting we are early in the morning so some of those numbers will get digested but all i want to say is technology choice in solar is also not a constant that technology choice moves and varies with a lot of factors of that multiple factors i have taken only one today which i am looking at depth which is module pricing and the most talked about factor but there are multiple more which are right now embedded in the assumption here which bring the choice so starting deep dive i've just drawn a curve that if you have a fixed tilt curve a uh, fixed tilt design plant at a particular price how would your return change as a developer uh, vis-a-vis the module pricing stand alone this curve obviously means a lot you can you can see where as and when uh, the module pricing is always moving by 1 cent you have about 0.8 point 9% impact on rr which is big but what's more interesting is if you look at this curve together with how a tracker curve will look at so what you see here is a fixed 
tilt dotted curve intersecting with a tracker curve and what you see is a fixed tilt design at a 1.1 crore per megawatt peak cost would always be better than a tracker design at a 1.7 crore megawatt peak cost at a break even module pricing of 27 cents now obviously this assumes a lot of inherent assumptions on what your location is what your ghi is what what type of design you have done what debt assumptions you have in but the limited point is all these factors are not a constant if to if yesterday module pricing was 35 cents i would have been on the right side of the curve and i would have said as a no brainer i should go with trackers today if and I, I'm speculating right now saying what module pricing is, is like looking at a crystal ball and gaze and putting going all in in poker. So I don't know where we are on the curve, but if you are on the left side of the star, it's a no brainer that you will go on a fixed tilt design if you are at these price curves. Now again, these two price curves are also not a standard. If I just take two alternate price curves where I have just reduced the cost for a tracker design by 20 lakhs, but a fixed tilt design by only 10 lakhs. So the difference between the two solid lines is a price gap of 20 lakhs, whereas the difference between the two dotted lines is only 10 lakhs. You see the inflection curve has changed. The price at which you are now technology shift has now moved considerably from a 27 cent number on module to a 21 cent number. If you see the same trend with a 20 lakh further reduction in either pricing, and now I've actually taken a big jump in the fixed pricing, you know, I've come to a very low number of 0.8 crore per megawatt peak. You see that the infection point again comes where in the center. So if you, if you try to read this curve, what you're saying is a tracker cost has to come down below 1.3 if the module pricing is at 24 and a half cents to make it better than a fixed design now like i said again all these curves here assume certain sets of ghi plf assume certain set of debt financing assume certain payment cycles these are not standard I cannot just get up and say today fixed is the way to go. Today tracker is the way to go. This is the design that is standard for solar. You know, there is a lot of thought process that's going behind the bits that you see. Each park, each location is different. And that's where this designing and work has been put behind to bring in where we are. So the limited point I'm trying to say is it's not just module prices. It's a combination of multiple other factors that go in and bring us to where we are. If we think we will just get sustainable on module pricing, that's not the answer. That is one of the biggest impact and the factors, but there are multiple others that I'm very happy to discuss and want, and want us to discuss and debate about. So that's broadly, very quickly about us. Uh, we are Solar Arise. We are large scale developers. We build large scale solar PV plants. I'm pretty sure you might have met one of the three of our partners, James, myself, and Anil sometime around. We've been backed by one of the leading funds uh, um, in by Kotak in Singapore and EIB out of Luxembourg. And uh, we have already built a large scale portfolio down and I'm looking forward to build even bigger, better portfolios with this group in the group. Thank you.